WJ 107.1 FM, KJ.org, and we have got Matt Baird of the legendary band Spoken on the phone lines with us. Matt, what's going on tonight? Uh, we are in Somewheresville, West Virginia, <laughs> playing an outdoor show at the motocross track, Ooh, and we're all literally burning live. Dude, that's awesome. I wish I was there. I'd like to be doing some motocross right now. That'd be awesome. Well, we're not doing that. We're <laughs> You're not riding some bike? guys. <laughs> awesome. Hey, well, man, it's awesome to have you. You're coming back to Oklahoma, going to do an acoustic set. And uh, so let's talk a little bit about that. How did it come about that um, you started doing a little side project as opposed to going hard and heavy with Spoken? You know, it, it kind of started in a situation of where we, uh, other than like my church would ask me to do a song occasionally, like for offering or whatever, I would, I would play it with just me and my guitar. But a lot of it got started on tour and we would show up and the sound system at a venue would be one of the worst things ever put together and so hmm. the guys in the band would be like hey you've got your acoustic right and like, yeah they're like well how about an acoustic show tonight right. so it was kind of one of those things of where for them it made it to where they didn't uh they, they weren't in a spot where they were responsible for destroying the pa system and whether it helped protect the sound system that the didn't properly provide in the first place Mm-hmm. Um, and so when I'm, like, I'm just, you know, I'm actually going to just do an acoustic set because we literally, the speakers will rip apart if we try to do this. Um, and so <laughs> that's, that's what we're going to do. And they're like, wait, what? Acoustic? How does that even work? And then, so I do an acoustic set and they're like, that actually went really well. Thanks for sending our sentence. And, and so that's how it kind of got started. Um, and then this was my church asking me more and more to, to do songs. I would ask them what the sermon series was going to be about you know, coming up, whatever that was, and would try to, I'd try to write a song around the sermon series, so that was kind of cool. Yeah. And then you add to that, like, um, I got to where I was doing acoustic tours between every spoken tour because I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to go do trim carpentry and take a chance on cutting my arms off. Yeah, that'd be kind <laughs> of a bad deal, for yeah. sure. It's literally, that's, I was like, if I can, if I can do music and make a living playing music, whether it be acoustic or was spoken or mm-hmm. guest worship at churches on Sunday mornings. That's that's what I would rather do. Yeah. And so that's that's how it got it got going. It's just a bunch of things crammed in one. Ah. Well now we know, man. Okay. <laughs> so man, spoken's been around like forever. When did the band Spoken actually get started? Uh February tenth of nineteen ninety six is when wow. uh, we kind of made the decision like let's actually do this. Yeah, it, it is specific because it was such a big deal. It was yeah. such a huge thing of where, like, let's actually do this. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, we felt it was a calling by God. So that's when it started. Would you say, uh, because I'm familiar with Early Day Spoken, been on the radio, so I actually started radio in 96 as well, so uh, that's pretty, we, we've we been doing this about the same length of time, but you guys' music has really changed over the years. You have been one of those bands that has been able to keep turning with the flow of the music, so how has that, in your ways, writing music changed with the way you approach things? Well, I mean, a lot of it is. Uh, one, like over the years, there's been different members come and go throughout the band, and with that brings different musical tastes, different bands that they're listening to currently, different styles of writing music. So that that is one situation of how the band has changed. But another, um, just we want to say relevant. We want to we want to say relevant to what you know teenagers are listening to. Hopefully, the people who are adults now and have kids of their own, they they stick with the band just because they love the band. Right. And get to know us as people over the years, but if we if we did the same record that we did in 1996, we would still uh, be trying to sound like Rage Against the Machine currently, and <laughs> it's just not what's current right now. Right, right. Yeah. Well, one thing that definitely has uh, kept its longevity is your voice. I, we actually got the honor of seeing you do a live acoustic setup here. And I couldn't believe how pure and natural your voice is. Uh, hearing it with the acoustic guitar, you know, with the rock, you know, it's a lot of screaming stuff. But when you actually just sing you and the acoustic guitar, you have one of the most purest voices I've ever heard. Well, that's nice of you. Thank you. Uh, 
So last night we were in upstate New York, and it was an outside show um, under a big pavilion, like a farmer's market in a very small town. Mm-hmm. Um, so half of the town showed up, basically. And it was all these little kids, these little probably five, six, seven-year-old kids in the front row. There you go. And so I was screaming directly in their face, and you see them print and close their eyes, <laughs> and they have a grin on their face, and they wouldn't... <laughs> They wouldn't leave like that. They were having the time of their lives. Oh, so you have them, and then you have these people who are 70 years old who are there just because, like, yeah, I guess I'll go. And you can just see the disgust on their face <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> um, and it's not until you start talking about Jesus that's like, oh, okay, uh-huh. right, I'm, I get it, I get it now. And so it's crazy. Like, I mean, our our music is it's multi generational. It's just because. <laughs> If you're paying attention to the people at the show, mm-hmm. they automatically kind of care because you're giving them the time of day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it's so important in every aspect of life. Uh, doing youth ministry myself, I'm a youth pastor. And one thing I noticed that every kid just wants to know somebody cares for them. Somebody will just enough to say hello to them. So That's I, I can, true. Yeah, so I can totally get what you're saying. When you're on stage and you're, you're able to connect with that crowd and just look at that, that eye to eye, that person's like, man, this guy, he, he looked at me, he, you know, he actually cares about me. And I think that is huge and important when it comes to in every aspect of ministry. Yeah, people want to, they want to, they want to, they want to tell you how they're feeling and how they're feeling and, you know, kind of that's it. They, they want to be able to voice because they're about to. Up, they don't know how to handle it. Mm-hmm. They don't want you to be like, "Here's why you're wrong, feeling the way you feel." They don't want to hear that. Like, mm-hmm. and so it's like, listen to them, be there for them, love on them the best you can. Don't condone what they're doing if it's a situation. Right. But what's the question? Hey, Matt, you're kind of breaking up. Yeah. here. you're kind of breaking Sorry. up there for a second. No, it's okay. Sorry. It was, I said something I'm not <laughs> so uh we know we got you coming to Houston, dude how can we get spoken the band here in oklahoma they yeah. you've been here like in the early days but it seems like it's been forever since we got to do some heavy spoken here in oklahoma you know it has been a while and mm-hmm. you know the hard thing is like we, we're scattered out from multiple states where we have been since i mean honestly since our fourth year who came out like we live just all over the place um, but if we were to plan a far enough to dance, uh, mm-hmm. we would make that happen. Whether it be just driving straight there and playing and going home or trying to fly in or wh- whatever it is, we would figure it out. Yeah, yeah, because I know you guys as the band itself, like me doing early day radio, um, if I didn't say uh, Steve Doris's name, he would literally uh, – from would choke me out because he was the absolute biggest <laughs> spoken fan I've ever seen in my life uh, back when I was at KOKF. So uh, if I didn't tell, let him know that you were his biggest fan, he would be upset right now. So oh, that's for Steven awesome. Doris. <laughs> There's your fans. For awesome. you. I think that he's the one that actually brought you to Oklahoma a couple times back in the 90s. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's crazy of how many people uh, have brought us there over the years, but how long it's been since we played there. We have played... The Oklahoma City area, that was literally, I mean, it had to be five years ago. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, we definitely at least that. Yeah, we definitely want uh, the band back. But we're super excited about you coming, doing an acoustic set. It's going to be one of those nights where it's going to be a very intimate type show. We want everybody that's listening right now to come out and be a part of it. It's going to be a night that you want to bring the family, sit back, relax, and hear one of the most amazing voices in music, and that is the voice of Matt Baird of Spoken. Matt, do we love you so much, but it sounds like we're cracking out uh, <laughs> With our feed here and you up in West Virginia out there on the motorcycles. So. We're out in the middle of nowhere. But I cannot <laughs> wait to be there. Thank you guys very much. Hey, man. Yes. We're looking awesome. forward to it. And, uh, man, awesome. we'll try to, if any way possible, we'll bring you here in the studio and we'll get that live interview before uh, you do the show, mm-hmm. um, the you. night of the show. Sounds great, man. Thank you, guys. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. We love you, buddy. Talk to you All later. right. See you soon. All right. Bye. KUJ1071 FM, KUJ.org. That is Matt Baird of Spoken. He's in West Virginia, out there in the middle of nowhere. Kind of had a little bit of hiccup there with uh, the connection there, Chuck, but yeah. 
you know, to just get to hear his voice. We want you to know that this is going to be a night to remember. We want you to come out and be a part of this show. It's, right. it's a Rise Above production along with Allied uh, Kelly J1071 FM. And we have been getting together and brainstorming about bringing the shows here mm-hmm. to Oklahoma. So be looking forward to more concerts on the way. Yeah. And uh, once again, thank you so much, Matt, for being a part of the show. Getting back to the music, this is Spoken on KUJ1071FM, KUJ.org.